Well, we're out here at the pit today. We've just finished up moving about another 10,000 cubic yards of dirt. The new 235 did good, uh, but we got we got um, Scott Mool here with Burnett Welding, and um, he does comes around and does portable bore welding and line boring. And um, the 235 did good, but um, I had a borrowed stick because the one on the machine was wore out at the end. And um, he took it and welded it up and faced it and pressed in uh, new bushings and we've got new seals and we're gonna put new bushings in there. And we've got all new pins. And he's gonna put new bushings in the bucket and where the pin goes through the end of the stick here had a little bit of free play. And um, we've ordered a new pin and he's gonna bore weld it and bore it out to have what did you say scott about two thousandths clearance right that's right two um thousandths. and that keeps it from wearing the tighter it is uh the less that the stress will let the pin walk around and waller those holes out right now there's probably well if i slid the pin through there you'd see it but i'm not going to mess up where he's fixing the weld uh, about a quarter of an inch maybe a little less of play and um you don't really notice it when you're loading trucks, but if you were trying to do fine work or whatever, trying to do clearing, it, it really hammers on those bores, and uh, it'll uh, it'll do a lot of damage. But um, anyway, like I said, I bought uh, I bought the bucket from a friend of mine, and uh, he loaned me a stick that had decent bushings in the end that I could get by with until Scott could come down here and go ahead and. Um, do my line boring and um, get my stuff tightened back up. He actually fixed a bucket that used to be on the 215 that we use on the 225. Uh, the um, the bushings wouldn't stay in here. They would walk their way out. They were loose and sloppy and he uh, faced it and line bored it and pressed them in there. And uh, what happens, these bushings get to walking out and they will actually push this pin out and, and they will break the tab off the end. That holds the uh, that holds the pin through there. I don't know why they walk outwards, but they do. But um, anyway, so we've got big projects going on here, uh, using some of this dirt money that we've made to uh, do some uh, updates on the new 235. Uh, had a oil leak on the engine. The uh, throttle shaft seal was leaking, and um, I took it out this morning and uh, and went ahead and replaced it. And so now the engine's dry. No oil leaks. So anyway, there's some of our new pins, and um, anyway, just got a little break in the dirt haul, and we just finished up, and we got a little little time to do some maintenance and some repairs. 